Presenter five is Jessica Adams from Johnson County at Highland Elementary. They teach first grade, and the title of their project is Teach First, Fluency, Interdependence, and Real World Solutions with Technology. Hi, um, my name is Jessica Adams, like she said, and my teaching partner, Leanna, is not with us today. She just had a baby. Baby Kate was born October 3rd, so she's on maternity leave right now. Um, we... Well, let me do this. Let's pretend that my phone is a flashcard. The traditional way that you learn math facts, kindergarten, first grade, is with flashcards. You make flashcards for your students and you send them home and the parents do them. Or you do it, the flashcards at school. So let's pretend that this is a flashcard and it says two plus three. Okay, so here we go. Ready? Five, exactly. That has been ingrained into your brains. When you hold up a flashcard, you say the answer. But what happens when you are in the grocery store and you need to know how many apples to, to if you can get two apples and three oranges in a bag? You don't have the flashcard to connect that memory with. And so uh, we have found that a lot of our students, they might know it on the flashcard, but there's no consistency in their daily life. There's no consistency when they're doing worksheets or when they are actually working with a partner. And so we wanted to kind of take the flashcards out of the equation and use the Osmos. So if you haven't seen an Osmo before, you, this is called the Genius Kit, and with it you get an Osmo base, and it has the reflector on the top that you can put on your iPad, and then you sit the iPad in the base. And it comes with five different programs. Um, two of them are apps. The Newton app, um, it allows them to guide real um, virtual balls with real world objects and then the masterpiece app allows them to create drawings and masterpieces and then it also comes with three different kits and you get a tangram kit that they can make um, pictures and different shapes with and you get hang on just a second a words kit that we're also going to use during our reading time so that they can make words and sentences and then our favorite part, what we really wanted it for, were the, was the numbers kit. And with the numbers kit, you get tiles in it. And they look like this. They have the numbers on them. And then they also have the tiles with just the dots. So it will help with not just recognizing their numbers, but it will also help with their spatial sense and what that number actually looks like. Because as most of you know, if you teach first grade or kindergarten, numbers are very abstract and they don't have a really solid number sense. So <clears throat> using these, we hope that um, the students will be able to improve their fluency with math fact problems. Um, we're gonna use these during our daily three math time. And what that is, is the students go to math by myself and they usually play a game during that time. They do math with someone where they play a game with another student and then they do computer math. And the computer math is where we're gonna incorporate the Osmos and the iPads. Each student's gonna get about 20 minutes a day on the iPads and we're hoping that it will um, greatly impact their, their ability and their knowledge. Um, we are going to do it, since there are two of us that are doing the grant, one of us is going to start with the Osmos and the other is going to do the traditional um, instruction with the flashcards and the time tests and all those things. And then we're going to switch in the middle of our project and, the, and compare our data so we can see did the students do better when they were using the Osmos or did they do better when they were using the flashcards and the time tests. And, and we're also going to measure the engagement of the students because... We feel like, you know, holding up a flashcard, what's the answer? Two plus three, it's five. That's not very engaging. And I think that the students need to have a more, um, a, a, a bigger stake in what they're doing and they need to feel like what they're doing is more important to them. Like, it's not important for them to answer my two plus three question on a flashcard. But using the Osmo, it might really be important to them then. Does anybody have any questions or anything? <laughs> 